Hello and welcome to this submissions demo as part of the Vault Room Suite. When it comes to planning, working on and executing any upcoming submissions, Vault Room is my single source of truth. From a project management perspective, I can get real-time data on all of the upcoming submissions that are planned for the next quarter. We can see by the color coding and the key at the bottom which products these submissions are planned for as well as the week that they are planned to be submitted in. This is really useful for myself personally, but also for my team. So I can really dig into the details and see exactly which submissions are upcoming and whether we would have capacity to indeed meet these deadlines. If I want to get some more information, it's really easy to click on the dashboard. And from here, I can make a better assessment about exactly how big each of these submissions are and start to action the various processes that we need to author, review and approve some of the documents, and indeed get the submission ready for dispatch to the health authorities. When we want to start planning individual submissions, there's no better place than to come to our submission content plan, which really acts as our single source of truth when it comes to managing the submission deliverables, but also performing any document management tasks. Utilizing a global content plan or a core dossier contained within a submission content plan can allow us to copy all of the core documents that are likely to be reused across all of the different markets so that when it comes to preparing a local submission, such as this one, all that needs to happen are the local documents needed to be added, go through the relevant author review and approval steps before we can indeed dispatch to the local health authorities. In addition to the content plan acting to define the submission outline down the left-hand side and the content that is going to be included by the match documents, we can also use it to start to act as a project management tool to filter by the deliverable owner and perhaps deliverable due dates to see exactly which deliverables a single user is going to be responsible for. If I would like to open up any one of these documents and perform some of my document management changes, I can simply go to the source document and open it up in the library. When it comes to authoring documents in bulk, this can be achieved with collaborative authoring. By opening the document up in a collaborative authoring window, I'm allowed to access the source document and perform any content changes at the same time as any of my colleagues are. I can see from the icon here that my colleague Anna is also working in the document. I can see Anna's cursor on the document content, so it means I won't be changing any content that she's actually editing. When it comes to adding any of my content, I can simply add it as I typically would. And once I'm happy with my changes, it saves the latest version back to the Office 365 cloud. And when I'm finished with authoring my document, all I need to do is save it back to Vault. As each of the documents are going through the author review and approval processes for this submission, I really want one place that I can come into and see the status immediately for all of the documents in my submission. This is where I start to leverage the dashboard that are available to me. I can immediately see the status of all of the documents broken down by module, deliverable owner, and perhaps any sections where we're missing any documents, as well as an overall completeness status for the entire submission. So throughout the entire submission compilation, review, and approval process, I can really come to this one-stop shop to get all of the information I need. Of course, to help speed up that approval process for the documents that are included in the submission, I can actually send either entire modules, separate documents, or the entire submission on a multi-document workflow to ask for approval for these documents. Once a user has received the multi-document workflow to approve the documents, they can provide their verdict as to whether a document is approved or not, at each document level. And once they've provided a verdict as to whether a document is approved or not, they can provide their capacity and username and password to electronically sign the approval of those documents. Of course, once the documents in the multi-document workflow have indeed been approved and that user chooses to complete that workflow, the statuses will be reflected in our dashboard, which we can now see all of the documents that are matched for the submission are indeed in the full approved status. So we're now in a position that we're ready to submit to the health authorities. If you'd like to learn more, please visit viva.com forward slash vault room.